everyone. I hope you're having an amazing day. Welcome to another episode of Platform App Builder Certification Series. Um, so today, uh, session will be a very short one. So what we're going to do, uh, we will be talking about how to create a uh, button or link on an object, right? So what we're going to do, uh, we're going to do more hands-on today, uh, very less theory. Uh, so the first thing first, you need to log into your org, right? So uh, the f so you need to register for an org before you log into your org. If you haven't done that, uh, please check out my first video. Uh, I've demonstrated how to do that. You should know how to do that at this stage if you're following along. Uh, please do not just follow, follow along. Uh, you need to do hands-on. Uh, I will highly encourage you to please do hands-on uh, because this is not a viewing uh, session, right? It's, it's, just you, it's a hands-on session. You need to practice it at the same time. Okay, all right, so what we're going to do, the, I've logged into my org, uh, so it will take you to this uh, set of page, very nice and easy, right? So we're going to work on the same object uh, we were doing until now, that's the Beer Friday, so what we're going to do, we're going to go to Object Manager here, and we're going to go to uh, Beer Friday, and Beer Friday, uh, so, okay, we're going to go here, and then uh, go to... Uh, buttons and links right and then go to so you need to pay attention to this new button and link right <clears throat> so uh, we have um, um, three uh, types so detail page link so if you look at it so it will appear something like here right uh, you know something the custom link uh, on a detail page and if you're going to look at the detail page button um, it will appear something like this, you know, at the top. Um, and then you have list button, right? Which obviously appears in the list page. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to do first one. Uh, I'm going to name it as demo one. You know, I don't want it to, you can name whatever you want it to do. So, uh, so I'm going to use start with the detail page link. So uh, display in, in, in new window or display an existing window. So I keep the default option, right? So I don't have to worry about it. There are different options here. Uh, display, um, so, you know, new window. So view behavior options. So you can look at it, how it should look like. You know, uh, when you do uh, display in, in Windows sidebar. Uh, so see how it looks like. It depends uh, how do you want to display it. It all depends on your business requirement, right? So, uh, so I'm gonna uh, go with the uh, the default one, display in a new window, and um, uh, so what happens is that when you click on it, right, click on the button, it opens a new window. That's that's exactly what it's gonna do. Okay, so we're gonna choose a URL, or you can do JavaScript or Visual Force page. So if you have watched my platform developer series. I've demonstrated how to create a Visual Force page, right? So if you have created, if you know how to create a Visual Force page uh, associated with this object, you can pretty much use that using here. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna use the URL. So now the URL is pretty interesting. So what I'm gonna do, uh, I will be using a file from uh, uh, Salesforce, right? So what we're gonna do, gonna go to this tic-tac-toe icon and gonna go to files, uh, open in a new tab. <coughs> Um so uh, just take a minute and the files owned by me so I can pick up any task right I'm gonna go here right and then you go to public link right so uh, there is a link already there if not it will ask you to uh, so I'm gonna copy link right and then go here and then I'll paste it here so watch watch this right I don't want this uh, you know, train dev dot lightning dot force dot com. So I'm gonna take this off. So I'm only interested from forward slash SFC. Uh, you need to pay attention to this, otherwise it will not work. So uh, start with forward slash. Sorry, uh, you have to start with forward slash, and then you just save it, right? Okay. Now we saved it, nice and easy, right? Now what we're gonna do? We're gonna have to. Uh, you know, so if you look at the page layout, right? So what we're gonna do, we're gonna do to uh, be a Friday. So we're gonna go here, open link in the new, <coughs> excuse me, browser. Um, so uh, you don't see anything here, right? There's no button or any 
any link, right? So what we're going to do, we're going to go to uh, the page layout and add the newly created uh, uh, button, right? Newly created button or link detail, right? This one. Uh, and we add to that page layout. That's pretty much what we're going to do. Okay, so we will keep this open as such. And we're going to go from here and go to the Gecko icon and go to the edit object. Right. If you do edit page, it will take you to the Lightning App Builder. So that's not what we wanted. So we are after the page layout. Okay. So this is the page layout we're using, um, and it's gonna do to custom links. We have a demo here, and you're gonna drag and drop here, right? And then uh, just save it here, right? Okay. And then you're gonna go here. Uh, gonna go be a Friday again. And just gonna refresh the page and gonna go to any of this one. Uh, it's gonna be taking the time. Okay, that's fine. So I'm gonna close this here and I'm gonna, I, you know what I all, always do? I always log in as a different user just to, because in case if it's not cached for whatever reason. So that's, that's my best way to test it every time. And I'm pretty happy with that way of testing it. Okay, so what we're gonna do, so we have this two page. Um, uh, go as a user, go to user. And uh, <clears throat> this is a good practice, you know, if you are a sysadmin, right? And if you, if you are implementing a change, uh, you need to make sure that it's visible for whoever, whoever you designed to, you know, to change this for first place. Uh, so, uh, what I mean by that is, let's say you change this for uh, XYZ profile, and you need to make sure that the users belonging to that profile can see the changes you've done, right? Otherwise, it makes no sense if it's only visible to sysadmin. So, that's that, That's why I always uh, prefer to test this way. Okay, so we're going to go to Beer Friday, and... Uh, uh, okay... All right, so we have this demo button here, right? And I'll click on here, and um, it will take you to this is a test data, right? Nice and easy, no problem, no complications there, right? All right, so that's that's one option, right? Now what we're gonna do? So we are gonna have to log out. So this is how I test it. So it's it's an easy way to see if it's you know changes are visible to other users or not. Okay, <clears throat> all right. Now we're gonna go to. Uh, buttons and links again and then this time we're gonna choose the other option and we're gonna use the same link right you're just gonna fool around with the same link so we're gonna to make it as a demo too right and they're gonna use the detail page button uh, as usual uh, as I mentioned that you can use URL uh, JavaScript or virtual force page so just to keep the demo nice and easy because this is not a developer uh, certification so we're not going to deal with visual force page or javascript right so we're going to copy the same here right the same uh url and as usual so you need to take out uh till um till dot com and uh, so save it right and okay so this is saved now as usual close this one close this one Okay, and close the files as well. So, all right, okay. Now, what we're gonna do, so since we have already opened one, uh, this, this is, uh, so we're gonna go to the page layout because you have created a button, that's fine, but you need to uh, move to uh, page layout to make the adjustment so that you can see that button, right? That's the whole concept. Otherwise, you might wonder, hmm, what's happened to my the button that's created just now? I can't see that. Uh, well, the reason why I can't see it because you haven't uh, done any changes to your page layout, right? If you do changes to your uh, page layout, then you will be able to see the button. So that's one of the things you need to pay attention to, right? Cool. Okay, so beer for new layout. Um, and um, um, we're gonna do to it should be somewhere buttons, right? Okay, so demo two, right? You see this time, the way you drag, the place where you drag and drop is different. Uh, before you go to, you know, the custom links, right? 
and then you have to drag under custom links in this case it's under butts next to the button right that's the custom button okay you save it <clears throat> and as usual I go here and go to setup and log in as a different user <clears throat> excuse me um, and uh, gonna log here and I'm gonna do here and gonna here demo two right and I'm gonna take you to new page voila the same data right I mean as I said we're gonna uh, fiddle with the same file we're not gonna do anything fancy because I just wanted to show you how to create these buttons right and uh, <clears throat> if you are someone <clears throat> excuse me uh, you know who do uh, conga you might know how to do that conga is an interesting topic I've covered about conga in one of the uh, series I talked about from the very basic to creating an invoice so if you are interested in conga do check out my video I'll put a link below in case if you're interested in conga okay cool uh, so what we're gonna do we're gonna do the another stuff today that is now that is to create a um, uh, the list button list button is a little bit interesting so I'll tell you why in a minute so let's do the normal stuff here demo one uh, demo three so usually uh, the list button right list button is handy uh, let me show you um, so so what happens uh, when do list button comes in picture right so you have this list view right so all list view so let's say I would like to have a list button here and where I can select and do whatever I want with it, right? You can normally, you will write a Visual Force page, right? Where you do all kind of validations, say probably, uh, I'll give you a very simple scenario. So you have this beer uh, list of the beer Fridays, right? So what happened is that I wanted to integrate this data to a third party, right? I want to send out this information uh, to uh, an external provider using an API. Just an example. So I can do that using list view button. So what I have to do, I have to create a Visual Force page, right? Embed that page to my list button. So when I, I will have a button here somewhere next to the print view, right? And when I click on the button and it will, and what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna select all the options here, <clears throat> right? And then once you, you can make the, the list view, you know, selectable. So let's say I select the option here, and then press the button so it will, you know, uh, combine five, six data, uh, you know, whatever, uh, you know, records, and then send out the data, right? And then uh, once it's performed the action, it refreshes the uh, list view. That's one of the scenario, right? I mean, I've done that um, multiple times when I was doing integration with, uh, you know, third party when we have to send out, uh, you know, account information when you have to retrieve, you know, uh, in you know credit information kind of stuff right you know just give you a context um so yeah but since this is not a platform developer so we're not going to talk about visual force page but i wanted to give you the context so that's why it's very important to explain uh why well, the way we can do it okay <clears throat> so what we're going to do go back here right and we're going to copy paste the same boy here right uh, i'm going to deal with the url here Usually you can do the URL, but I'm not sure if it makes sense with a list view, but you know, by all means, uh, for demonstration, why not? Okay, now there's a catch to it, right? So it won't be visible just like that. I mean, you won't do the change uh, using page layout. There's a little bit of catch to it. List view is a little bit different to the other two buttons. So what we're gonna have to do, go to uh, search layout for classic, Right, I know you must be wondering why classic. So just follow on, follow along for a second. Uh, go to the list view here, <clears throat> and go to edit. Um, oh, sorry, not this one. Right. Uh, did we? Hang on a second. Okay, All right, for some reason, um, okay, let's do action and lighting experience. Okay, 
new compaction. No, we don't want to do that one. So it, it looks a bit different. Okay, all right, never mind. I'm going to do that again. So I'm going to do demo three. Hopefully we have that. This button here. Should have been um, interesting. Hmm, okay, never mind. Four. Just keep it demo four. <clears throat> Save. Right, so now I'm gonna go here. Okay, so now you can see there is a difference here, right? <clears throat> so for whatever reason, uh, I think we didn't do it correctly the first time. Okay, so this is what I was trying to say, right? It's a bit different to uh, the other two buttons. So you have to come here to layout for classics and then you have to move this button to the right hand side and then save it that's all you have to do for the list view right you don't have to fiddle with the page layout okay so now what we're going to do uh just go back to uh let's log in as a user again right okay all right it's just gonna log out okay let's log in again and then you're gonna to go to all, right? Here you go. So you can select here, right? And do whatever you want to do with. But right now I won't do anything because we just, you know, hard coded a URL, right? So this is what I was trying to say. You can select all the data here and then do, you know, background processing using a batch process and send out the data wherever you wanted to do, handshake with the third party, right? So for now, you know, what we're going to do, we, we're going to just click on demo four. Um, it just, you know, takes you to um, this page, right? That's pretty much what it's going to do. Uh, so that's that's pretty much uh, the list view uh, button. I can't demonstrate at this point of time uh, because I wish to demonstrate using a code. But as I mentioned, this is not a programming course. So I just want to, don't want to talk about that. Okay, so that's pretty much what we want to talk about it. Uh, you should know if you are going to uh, appear for a platform app builder, you need to know where to use this button and how to use it, right? Uh, you know, action links are a bit different. Um, so tomorrow, uh, next day, whenever, uh, we're going to talk about the global actions. Uh, so I just wanted to make this t session very, you know, sh sh shorter compared to the other one because other sessions been going on for ages. But unfortunately, I had no choice, right? I have to cover a lot of content, right? Um, so that's all I wanted to talk about today, guys. I hope you find some value out of it. So please do leave a comment uh, message if you wanted to ask anything about uh, the certification. All right. That's all I wanted to talk and cover today. Uh, thank you so much for your time. Greetings and ideas from New Zealand. Bye-bye and stay safe.